All right, guys, I am here in Fairland. I'm gonna hit the trails here. This is the local trails to me. And I got a new shock on there. Sure, it's mounted the other upside down, but it shouldn't matter too much. I filled it up to 90 PSI on the rear. I don't know much about full suspension or even mountain bikes, so I'm just glad that Harry from Maryland Mountain Bikers just gave me this shock and he gave me like a saddle but I haven't put it on because this one's fine but I like the white saddle that he gave me and this is it saved me so much money putting this on and even fixing the old one the Fox one it was $200 at a shop so I this one it was free so I mounted it very easy mount I had to switch the spacers and then cut a little bit of the plastic off but it fit really well and it was a uh, kind of almost plug and play all right let's get going all right i don't know where i'm going but see you know one of the things i like about mountain biking is that Outside it's like 89 degrees and inside here it feels like 70 degrees. It feels great. Oh yeah, this suspension is so much better. Man. The bike feels so much better. Can I do this? Oh wow, the suspension actually worked. Oh, you know what? My front suspension is locked. There we go. Now it's super smooth. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting that. I like the suspension when I'm transporting. This one's a Chinese shock. So I bought it for $100, $120. Because my other one was leaking and I couldn't get it fixed. But yeah, it's so much better. It's amazing. I still, I think I might need to put more air in the rear shock. Just a tad. I put 90. I don't know if that's good enough. But it's uh, much more pleasant to ride. I can't believe I was riding it with a bad shock. That's why it blew up, I guess. I do have a kit coming to repair it. Ooh. There's another bike up there. This time, the right gears. That was the Viper Loop. Yeah. Oh, man, my shifting snapped. That sucked. I made it, but whew. my uh, shifting snapped, and then just a, a little bit of a change made me definitely lose momentum. In the right way. This is just so much faster on a big suspended bike. Look at this. These are berms. Oh, kind of did it. I think you have to carry more speed. I was I hit my brakes too much. Okay, water break. Guess I could go down that way. Never gone down this 
part of the trail. Getting my brakes down now. Okay. Definitely a little bit harder there. Oh, here's the creek. Uh, will I make this? I'm terrible at this. Alright, here we go. Oh, I never make it. Never make it. There we go. I didn't drop it. Okay, so holy loop trail. It's usually very dry here because uh, it's so much higher up than the rest of the trail. How's it going? Have fun. Thank you. Sure. Ah, maybe I should go the other way. Definitely the way to go on this side. For the speed anyway. So we're about to cross the creek again. Usually I make it on this side. It's just the other side that's difficult. Good. Gotta go straight. How's it going, guys? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that Michelle Obama is a man. Alright, guys, I am definitely doing much better today. The shock is in great shape. Uh, thanks again for the shock, Harry. I really appreciate it. The bike is shifting well. I still have to lube the cables a bit. You know, one of the problems with this particular bike is that the subframe, there was a recall for the uh, frame and the subframe cracks sometimes at the very bottom. So hopefully I can keep this from not breaking because you can't really buy that subframe anymore. And usually it breaks right about here and I tightened that, it was loose and yeah hopefully it's not cracking it's uh it's aluminum but it's very difficult to find on eBay and stuff and you do see this particular bike with broken uh, subframes but yeah unbelievably so much better the uh, shifting and the suspension is now plush so it happens that the shock and the front forks when I bought this were broken the front was leaking and then I tried to fix it I made it worse so I ended up I think selling it really cheap and I bought that Chinese fork and now I have that shock in the rear the rear shock that came on the bike was a Fox so I think that's a better brand but I'm not really sure but Right now it's working fairly well, so the suspension is just so much better. And I feel like I can go over the bumps much easier. So before it was uh it was difficult. Okay, we're done. Well guys, I've done 10.1 miles, average speed 6.9. That's pretty good. One hour, 30 minutes of riding, and that's it, that's Fairland. Alright, I'll see you in the next video guys.